Fala galera do canal, bom dia, tudo bom? Se você não me conhece ainda, cara, meu nome é Fernando Malachovs, sou brasileiro naturalizado americano, moro aqui nos Estados Unidos e sou de Curitiba, no Paraná. Galera, o vídeo de hoje é muito especial. Eu sei que eu falo isso pra todo vídeo, mas o vídeo de hoje é especial mesmo. O vídeo de hoje é um vídeo muito pedido e muito aguardado, inclusive por mim mesmo, que é um vídeo que eu fiz uma entrevista com o meu sargento. O ah, nome dele é Sargento Rivera. Ele não é só meu sargento, ele é meu amigo pessoal, a gente joga o Call of Duty juntos e tal. Uh, mas é um vídeo que eu queria muito fazer. E na verdade é uma playlist, é uma série de vídeos que eu vou fazer, galera. A ideia é fazer uma sequência somente com entrevistas. Então eu vou fazer, eu fiz entrevista com esse sargento, eu vou fazer entrevista com o meu tenente, o meu segundo tenente. Então já vou fazer um pedido pra vocês direto, galera. Deixem aqui nos comentários a pergunta que vocês querem que eu faça pro tenente. Coloca assim, pergunta pro tenente e coloca a pergunta. Lembrando, galera, eu fiz 10 perguntas pro meu sargento e todas as perguntas foram mandadas por vocês, tá? Eu não tinha nenhuma pergunta, mas vocês tinham várias centenas de perguntas. E aí a gente escolheu as perguntas mais legais, mais pertinentes e eu perguntei pra ele. Então, sem mais delongas, vamos pro vídeo. Fala, galera do canal, beleza? Bem-vindo. Já fiz uma introdução aí, meu nome é Fernando Malachowski. Tô aqui com o meu sargento, Sargento Rivera, muito meu amigo, uh, meu sargento, meu uh, líder do time. E a partir de agora eu vou só falar inglês pro resto da entrevista e eu vou colocar as legendas para vocês aí uh, do que a gente tá falando em inglês eu vou colocar em português. Beleza? Vamos lá. Sargento Rivera. What's up, what's up? What's up? So first off, thank you for, you know, no problem. for accepting the interview. Um, it's not gonna take forever, it's just 10 minutes of your time. Um, I will let you introduce yourself first, the people, and then we're gonna start. No problem. Uh, my name is Sergeant Rivera, as he's, uh, especially, uh, especially Malachowski said. I originally from Puerto Rico. Um, I moved to the United States in 2020, uh, 2015. I, uh, joined the military in 2015 in August. Um, uh, my basic training in AIT was in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. And after that, I departed to my first duty station, which was the Fairbanks, Alaska, uh, Fort Wainwright. I was there for three years um, on an infantry battalion, uh, supporting the infantry. Um, I then moved over here where when I met Specialist Malachowski That's me. um, in 2019 and since then we've been working together in the 541st uh, sustainment for the 129 CSSB, uh, 101st uh, Brigade and just 88 mics as, as you know. Yeah, as I know. So thank you for the introduction. I have here guys 10 questions, okay? That you guys, you guys sent over 250 questions, but I cannot, <laughs> I cannot <laughs> ask him. I assume any questions. So we picked up 10. And um, by the way, if you wanna ask anything for my LT, for my lieutenant, is next week. It's coming up. Okay, next week I'm gonna talk to my lieutenant. And if you want to, you can just leave um, the question down below, and I'm gonna ask him. Sergeant Rivera, first question. How long you been in the army and what is your job? I know you already kind of covered, but so it's been in August going to be six years um, in the military, counting uh, basic training okay. in AIT, and um, yeah, six years. All right. Next question, Sergeant Vera. What was your best day in the army so far, and maybe if you want to, the worst day in the army so far, and why? Best day I can still remember as it was yesterday um, in basic training the last training exercise we did a major came up uh, to congratulate con congratulate uh, us just like hey you guys uh, did a great job mm -hmm. basic training you guys are now heading towards your future and divorce in the military and <coughs> the speech that he he uh, gave us. Uh -huh. There was a lot of people that was crying. Really? 
it's, it's then we actually realized it was, that it became a, a soldier, right? It still gives me chills because the stuff he said, it was just like, it, it made us all, all so proud. Uh -huh. it, it was a proud moment of being a member of, 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 of the team. Okay. It worst? Was, it was great. <laughs> the worst, and <clears throat> so as you know, when uh, sensitive items, when we lose sensitive items, uh -huh. so... Um, someone from my last unit, not going to say any names, <laughs> um, I still don't know who it was in uh, the, the unit level, someone lost a uh, hard drive okay. for a JCR, uh -huh. and we were there for the whole day, like from 6.30 uh -huh. to all the way to 10 p.m. 10 p.m. And we Searching. couldn't leave until... And so that we thing find was, it. Okay. And yeah. it was the longest day. <laughs> we were, at that time, I was a private. Uh -huh. So. You just want to leave? I was just <laughs> looking for it. Looking for it. <laughs> and we can't find it, so I just keep looking. Keep uh -huh. looking. Until 2200, 20, when they said, all right. We found it. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We didn't find it. No. I don't know what happened, but. Um, yeah. Didn't, didn't find it. All right, good story right there. <laughs> that's that's just the army. It's, that's it's, just it's, the, it's, that that wasn't the first time or the last time. It's not gonna be the last time. <laughs> Sergeant, what your family thinks about you being in the army? Do they support you? Uh, are there are any disagreements? Ever ever since day one, they were always like a hundred percent support. Okay. Just like they're always supporting whatever um, I'm doing mm -hmm. with my career and for them it was like they were just proud of like having one of their members mm -hmm. and like joining the one of the greatest organizations uh -huh. which is the US, US Army. Army. And also if I'm not, I'm not mistaken you just you just had a baby right? Two months ago? No, Two. I'm, my wife's is pregnant. Oh okay. I'll have my second, my second. In, Your second. July. In July. Yeah, my son turned two in January 15. Two years. It, it looks like it was yesterday. Yes. Then. It, oh my it god. It was like yesterday. But yeah. He's two. Uh, he's two years old, and uh, my second, my daughter, uh -huh. um, Lourdes, uh Charlotte, coming up. is coming up in July. Nice. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, Sergeant. <clears throat> Um, I know you already said in your introduction, but um, what was or where was your first duty station and did you like it? It was nice. I know it was cold because it was Alaska, right? Yes, but <laughs> um, as everything, you get used to it. Uh -huh. um, you get climatized to the, to the weather. At first, it's like a, a shock when you get there and you look at your phone and mm -hmm. damn, you got to do PT. <laughs> it's negative 25. Oh my God. Fahrenheit. It's cold. It's even colder than Celsius. Yes, it's cold. Uh, but it's uh, Alaska is a beautiful place. I work with a lot of great people over there in Alaska. I, I made a lot of good friends. Uh -huh. um, it, was, it was a great, not only um, I experienced something different, but it was a great um, learning experience as like my job because I was part of uh, um, FSC, which is we support we supported four infantry companies. Wow, it's a lot of soldiers. That's a thousand soldiers right there. Dang. Plus our company. Uh huh. So we supported a lot of people. We're very busy. We're always uh, doing, doing missions. Always doing. Always on the road. Always in the field. Uh huh. Supporting the infantry guys. Um, but it was a it was a great um learning experience. Okay. It nice. was it was it was very awesome. Nice. Sarah Vera, I know this question is kind of subjective, but how long does it take from someone go from private to sergeant? Yeah, so when I joined, it, it's different for everyone, uh -huh. as you said it. Um, when I joined, I was a PFC because I had previous college when I joined, I was a PFC. But from a private, I've seen privates that work hard, they strive every day, mm -hmm. you can make it in three years. Three years. Three years. <clears throat> I want to say minimum, the like, if you're killing it, mm -hmm. I want to say two years and a half. You two can, and a you half. Can ha you can have your... Corresponding courses and all of that. Okay. It all comes in place. Everything, 
everything com comes together. When you look at your po uh, promotion points, uh -huh. it's all about you can't just be good at one thing. Oh, sure. It's PT, appearance, uh, your performance, your Rifle. college, everything. Shooting. Everything comes in. Yeah. And whoever wants it more, it's the one that's going to get, gonna it. get it. Yeah. True. Uh, for my personal experience, I made it in three years. Three years. Yeah. Which is pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. We have, just for, you know, letting you guys know, that's right there, three years, it's almost out of the rule. Because we've seen, what normally you see in the Army is people getting out or signed up for another contract as a specialist. Mm -hmm. So it, that, that's four years, by, by the way. So you don't see a lot of people in your in their first, very first contract being sergeant, right? And you were sergeant in our very first contract as well. Yep. That's a good thing. By the way, if you guys don't know, he's promotable to E6. Yep. O que pra gente é sargento de segunda classe. In, Bra in Brazil, we have like, after, this is like third sergeant, mm -hmm. right? And then after that, is second sergeant, just like second lieutenant. Mm -hmm. So that's some I was explaining to them. Galera, uma pausa para fazer um pedido para você. Você tá gostando das entrevistas? Tá aprendendo bastante coisa, não tá? Então deixa aquele like e se inscreve no canal. Não se esqueça de deixar sua pergunta pro próximo vídeo da próxima semana, que vai ser com o meu tenente. Então deixa aí a pergunta, deixa o like, se inscreve no canal. Tamo junto e valeu. Sarver, what was the weirdest or craziest thing you've seen a private do? I know I private know. <laughs> privates do a lot of shit, right? But what was the this is my my my, my view of privates. <laughs> you tell them to go left, <laughs> they go right. They go right. <laughs> Not every private is like that, but that's most private. It's most private because they're so confused and scared of like their NCOs. Uh -huh. They don't even know how to how to make a left and a right. Yes, true. Uh, okay, so. What is the mainly requirements to get a promotion or to become a sergeant or, or, or to move on up to the ranks? So from E1 to E4, um, they're all automatics or the command can um, waiver some soldiers that are so far ahead from their peers like they deserve it yes okay the who whoever is deserving is the ones that are gonna get okay the waivers but the main requirements for to uh, get promoted to e5 mm -hmm. it'll be your um, online courses corresponding courses mm -hmm. um, maxing out your um, you don't have to max it out but it helps uh -huh. Having the extra points, okay. maxing out your uh, PC test, which is now it's the ACFT, ACFT. Um, the your weapons uh, oh, qualification, okay. your after you do all that, um, your time and grade, time and service, mm -hmm. either secondary or primary zone, which you, which you guys can look it up. Look it up. Yeah, primary and secondary zone. Um, you will uh, attend the uh, promotion board, uh -huh. and after that. It's a competition of whoever has the most points uh -huh. is the one who's going to get the spot, the spot. on um, basically the course, which is to, which you need, that's one of the main requirements to get E5. To get E5. So as you guys can see, it's not that easy, right? It's, it's, not, it's not something that everybody can do. It's like, it's a process. How yeah. long does, uh, it's not here, but how long did your process from E4 to E5 to? I went to the promotion board in January 2018. Mm -hmm. um, I passed and they sent me to basic theater course mm -hmm. in March. In March. So that's two months right there, yeah. waiting pretty much. Pretty much. And after I graduated in May, I didn't make points until September. Okay. So in September of 2018, it's when I actually got promoted. Got promoted. So it's from January up to September, pretty much. This is what seven, eight. But months? think about it. And uh, when I got my E4, uh -huh. it was in September of 2017. Okay, so it's kind of so one I year was, later. I was a specialist for just one year. 
for just one year, yeah. which is pretty good. Like there is specialists, there are specialists that I know that being that they're being specialists for years, two, three years. But now that that now is changing because the changing, army right? wants a younger force. Uh -huh. That's why they are forcing people, not really forcing, but encouraging people <laughs> to get out, or to move up, or no, to get out. You either progress. Or, or leave. Yeah. True. The army doesn't want a lot of old people. Old people in the same you spot. You won't want old people in the fight anyway. True. Next, qu next question. What was your motivation to join the U.S. Army? It was ever since I was, that I can remember, mm -hmm. it's, it was that sense of pride mm -hmm. that came wearing this uniform. It was uh, ever since I was growing up, I would see people like my uncle. Uh -huh. He served for 24 years. It was just like, it brings pride to y your family and yourself. Okay. You should be proud of wearing this uniform. That's sure. That's my standpoint. Nice. That's my motivation now too. Cool. It's a very good motivation too. And to keep going and the um, the responsibility that I have right now, which is taking care of my soldiers, mm -hmm. is just like it just brings me happiness. Like seeing my soldiers progress, uh -huh. as well as like not only in the military but mm -hmm. also as human beings. Cool, cool. By the way, he's a very good leader. He was my he was my very first team leader or squad leader when I got to Fort Campbell, and now we're in the same squad again. Okay. Yep. We we like to work together. <laughs> Uh, like you said, and I said, I think I don't know if I said it, but you said, uh, you are from Puerto Rico, yep. right? And Puerto Rico guys, Bra Brazil, I'm, I'm going to say that, I know it sounds stupid, but Brazilians, the majority of the Brazilians don't know, right? So Puerto Rico is, it belongs to USA, to US, right? It's like, it, he's American, but the majority of the or how can I say, like, the primary language in Puerto Rico is Spanish, right? It's Spanish, yes. So, talking about that, um, they want to know if the, if the language or the English language, it was, it was like, it was hard for you. It, it was an obstacle for you. Of course, at the beginning, it was, it was an obstacle. Uh -huh. But it was an impossible. Uh -huh. um, it was hard to not understand, but to... Communicate because, like, sometimes you want to talk, say explain something, yourself, explain something, but you don't know how to put the words together. I but know. as I, as I grew, I just, I just got used to it. Like uh -huh. my sec, I think it was my second year in Alaska, when I made good friends with. Um, maybe he'll watch this video one day. Um, I, I made good friends with um, um, Dixon. Okay. Um, Mixon, my bad, Mixon. Mixon. Uh, Deontay Mixon. Okay. He was a good friend of mine, um, as well as uh, uh, Martinez. He, uh, they, uh, I've talked with them a lot, uh -huh. and that's when my English like actually grew. Cause like, we'll go to the field and we'll just be sitting in in the trucks waiting mm -hmm. for, for hours, and it was just like or pulling guards together. As as I talked to them more and more and more, my English started growing, and uh -huh. that's when. I've um, yeah. learned a little it's bit. It's very good because I'm going to actually talk about me. This I know it's about you, this interview, but I actually had somebody, a, a guy that I went to basic training with, and uh, Joshua, and uh, he was so patient with me. Mm -hmm. And he actually, it was amazing because I, I didn't have, like, I, w I was so confused. I didn't, I didn't speak, like, at the time, I didn't speak, like, 50%. I know I don't speak too much today. But I didn't speak like half of what, of what I spoke now. And uh, that guy was so patient with me. He was like, no, this, you, you can't say that. Oh, that's wrong. Like he was pretty much teaching me and helping me out, you know. And that was so, so good to have him there, you know. And of course, as like 90% of your, your busy training um, partners or friends, I lost contact with him. So it's pretty much, I don't have anybody. In, like, I think not, none of us have, yeah. right? After basic, it's kind of... Yeah. 
We all go to different locations. And it's and crazy because basic training is only like 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. And you make so, so good friends. So good friends. You make such good friends with a lot of people and you just break apart. You just break apart. And Everybody just the goes. Army. It's just like yeah. I made so many good friends in my last unit. Uh -huh. uh, I'm, I still keep in, in, in contact with a lot of them. But like we just... Yeah. That's just the army. You make you 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 uh you make so good good friends wherever you go. It's uh -huh. like it's that's why it's, it's a, how it, it, it's, it's, it's how it should be, yeah. right? Because it's, it's uh that's one of the things that I like about the army. Okay, you make so so many good friends and you meet a lot of people uh -huh. that are just great people. Nice, nice. Simon, so um, what is your personal opinion about immigrants? Um, leaving their country to come to the United States and join the U.S. Army? So my opinion and point of view is this, this is such a, a, a great country. We, um, this country always wants to help other countries, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and it's just, it, it speaks uh, for itself. Um, other um, countries, uh, other people from other countries want to join the U.S. military because they see better opportunities, mm -hmm. not only for them, for, for their families as well. True. And it just brings more people to the team. Mm -hmm. It just brings uh, more diversity to the team because okay. in, in your country, your people might know some, some stuff that we don't know. Mm -hmm. And it's just like... It just bring, brings the, brings us together uh, as as a team. It's mm -hmm. just like it just makes the, the team bigger. That's just my point of view. I like everyone. Uh -huh. um, I think people like me. So <laughs> it's just like it just brings us together. Um, it just makes us uh, stronger. Yeah, and um, one point right there is that we, we, we see normally in the day daily basis, right? Like a lot of people from a lot of countries, like. You, you see in your base, in your company, in your platoon, whatever, you see people from Brazil, from Mexico, from Puerto Rico, from Angola. From everywhere. every part of the every world. Part. Uh, uh, and Haiti. Like you, you, can see, you can see us. It's like an example of like, not only for us, but for the world that uh -huh. we, can, we can live together. Nice. Like we, can, we can make the world better. We can protect it. And it's just, it brings us together when I see people from other countries mm -hmm. join Changing the team experiences. and we're just like a family. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, I like it. Nice. Sai Rivera, I just want to personally thank you for this interview. No um, I know we work together and I respect you a lot. You know, and you're very, like, you're a mentor to me. And I really hope you don't go to Alaska so, so quick. Uh, by the way, he's, yeah, he's going back to Alaska soon, uh, but thank you again for your time and your words, and if you say, uh, if you want to say something, it's... Of course, um, all, all I'm going to say is whatever, whatever you do in life, um, as long as you're, you do it with, uh, with your heart, like, don't do stuff because you have to. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say, not just, um, just whatever you do, make sure you're happy. Mm -hmm. Or at least you're making somebody else happy. smile or happy. Cool. It's just what I what I always try to do. Just make sure my soldiers are not only doing what they're supposed to be doing, but they're also like you know happy. They're good. They're doing great. Their families are good. Okay. It's just uh, whatever you do. Just make sure you're doing it. Uh, you're doing things right. Don't do drugs. Um, and yeah. And now, the last thing, say, muito obrigado. Muito obrigado. E até mais. E até mais. <risos> Galera, muito obrigado para você que ficou até aqui, ficou aí todo o vídeo, tá? Ah, não se esqueça de deixar sua pergunta pro tenente, que vai ser semana que vem ou na outra semana, depende da agenda dele. Só lembrando, galera, esse meu segundo tenente, ele não tem muita experiência no exército. Porque se você viu o vídeo que eu vou deixar aqui na descrição... Ah, de como virar tenente, esse tenente ele acabou de sair da faculdade e ele co comissionou, que é o que a gente chama aqui, e ele virou segundo tenente. Então, ele não tem muita experiência no sentido exército falando, né? Ah, mas 
ele é meu tenente, ele é o líder de todo o pelotão, é, ele é capacitado, então eu gostaria que vocês deixassem aqui as perguntas que vocês querem que eu faça pra ele. E é isso galera, aqui eu vou deixar dois vídeos, que são alguns vídeos do meu canal, se você gostou desse vídeo, é bem provável que você